So I've been using Hyperland for a very long time now, but I've recently switched to Sway Window Manager and it's going pretty well for me, so obviously I have it tuned to the uh, setup that I like. So this is my Sway config, just wanted to show you around. I can uh, go ahead and set a wallpaper, change my workspaces, and I'm also using the master stack layout. So that's done with auto tiling. I'll show it a moment later. So first of all, this is obviously a Sway window manager. It is not Hyperland. And I've been using Hyperland for a very long time now. And I've just recently switched to Sway. So what's this all about? Well, it's the main reason being I just wanted to try out a new window manager and uh, try out a new challenge to raise Sway and all that. And also go through the OBS problems because Sway has some problems with OBS Studio not working. So I'll explain that in just a moment. And it's going pretty well, as I said. I like the fact that there's no eye candy here because when I use Hyperland, I'm not a fan of eye candy at all. But just because Hyperland has those features, I want to enable them. It's like that. And Sway does not have these features, so I can just use it as is. And now a big problem when switching from Hyperland to Sway was auto dialing. I love the master stack layout, it's what I use on Hyperland and pretty much any window manager basically. And on Sway this is achievable with auto tiling, which I'm pretty sure you've already heard of. It's like this green layout for i3 and Sway. So you just install it like this, you do a pacman-s auto tiling and then you install that and once you install it you just add it to your auto start config so I can open up my text editor here go into dot config sway config which is the config file it's super simple and here we can add something like auto tiling so the command that you use to get auto tiling use the master layer or the master stack layout is this right here auto tailing dash l2 so if you go to the auto tailing dash dash help you can see that dash l stands for limit to limit how often auto tailing will split a container so we can just change this however you want like here's 9 for example and you could do something like 1 and this is what it's gonna look like so this is auto tailing l1 it's basically the master layer i guess And that's auto tiling. So I use auto tiling all the time. Back in i3, when I was using i3, I was using auto tiling as well. So for the bar, I've obviously got Weber. Weber works with any valent compositor. And for the color scheme, this is pretty interesting. I started out with Everforest Dark because I never really tried that color scheme before. I just wanted to try it out. But eventually, I decided to make my own color scheme this time. It's sort of like this pastel version of the standard DTY colors. So you'll have the just regular colors like regular red, regular green. Just that, but a little later is the color scheme that I'm using here. And as well as DistroTube's wallpapers. So all of these wallpapers are from DistroTube. I can just pick a random one. When I log into Sway, it will select a random one for me. Now let's talk about OBS Studio. So right now I'm recording my screen with OBS Studio, it's working perfectly fine. By default, it does not work at all on Sway. So the screen capture module here, it's not gonna show under this list in OBS because there are some minor patches that you need to do. The same applies for Hyperland, but on Hyperland it's a bit easier, I guess. All you gotta do is, well, let me close out my Emacs here and open up my terminal. So first you need to just install these packages xtg desktop portal and xtg desktop portal wlr the reason we installed the wlr version because sway is a wl roots window manager on hyperland you need to install xtg desktop portal hyperland because hyperland is not a wl roots window manager from what i know and you just run this command here on arch linux this is what the package is called on arch you can simply search the web 
for like you know xdg desktop portal on it let's say you're using ubuntu so you can search for that and here we have the xdg desktop portal in ubuntu package it's the same i think it's called so once we do that we still need to do a little bit of configuration so you open up your text editor you go to uh, your sway config which is in dot config sway config and then uh, i can just search for obs here i have this obs fixes this is pretty much all you need to add in your sway configuration file i leave this in the description as well as my sway dot files for linux uh, github repository for that in the description so i'll go through what this is doing first exec is the way you add a order start program in sway and then no startup id basically means it's not gonna have a startup id this is completely optional you don't need it if you don't want it and then we do the dbus update activation environment command this is to change your environment variables for system d because this is system d Valent underscore display xtg current desktop equals sway so all obvious needs is that current desktop it needs to make sure that the current desktop is sway and not something else also i want to try it this experiment where flame shot yes flame shot is working okay so that's a big win for sway right there flame shot is not working on hyperland no matter what i tried but it's working on sway so i'll probably use flame shot as my screenshot tool for now because it's better than what i currently use which is my own sort of screenshot script you can see here using grim and slurp so if you do something like grim and slurp like so that you can take a very simple screenshot if you want to and we also have to start the xtg desktop portal services so first we start the wlr one then we start just the regular one and that's that obviously we've got our colors here i'm just gonna go through my entire config because why not starting with the lock screen here set lock sway lock so sway lock is the lock screen for sway if i press super shift t to lock my screen you can sort of see how that is i don't know if obs captures sway lock but whatever and we've got our color scheme here so we've got everforest colors which is commented out then we've got the pastel tty colors output configuration is pretty simple i usually use nwg displays for this so wait i mean nwg displays it will open up this command right here and then i can do stuff like increase the scaling and it automatically works so on hyperline you have to add a line called uh, source equals dot config hyper monitors dot config is the file that nwg wrapper generates for hyperland when you change your scaling and all that with nwg displays and as for, as for the widget here it's using nwg wrapper so it's a lot of nwg commands it's uh, made by a really great person who makes some awesome programs for valent compositors and this is one of them all you gotta do is uh, open up my text editor to show you my nwg wrapper config is pretty simple it's written in pango actually so you can read it in either pango or bash so you will simply display the uh, output of any sort of shell script or pango file all this is doing is adding simple html tags that go span font i also have nerf font then the size then the foreground color then whatever is in here and that's it that's pretty much all this is doing the wallpaper picker is a script with sww and rofi and yeah all of this is just rofi right here i'm also using swainag for a lot of stuff so swainag is the auto tailing uh, script here here so well it's not an auto tailing script that swainag is more like a confirmation prompt so if I press super shift e it's gonna say you press the exit shortcut do you really want to exit sway this will end your valence session the way this works is if i go to sway config and i go to uh, go to the sway nag command here sway nag and it's gonna say this uh, confirmation prompt that goes hey you press this do you want to really exit so that's really nice i use it for a lot of scripts 
this is one of them that says use auto tailing or not if i press no you can see that well it's still using auto tailing but that's probably some sort of error but it should kill the auto tailing script and yeah here it is here the default sway uh, auto tailing or manual tailing actually this is the manual tailing and then we can obviously press super o or super u to bring up the script and say yes to this now it's gonna use auto tailing with the master stack layout as i said and i have some other scripts like uh, let's actually go to the scripts here we have record.sh which i no longer use so this i used to use when uh, obs was not working so i used wf recorder to record my screen but now that i got obs working there's no need for it but it's there because it's there and for the Weibo config i actually have a secondary team so i'll show you that as well in team 2 and then here's that it's still using uh, everforce stuff so i should probably change that i forgot to change that because this is the main one i use and that's pretty much my sway config now talking about why i switched to sway it's a whole lot faster to start with hyperland sometimes when i'm using a uh, hyperland if i opened up a hey job then hyperland is going to be the top process here sometimes when I, ha I when i was using chromium and discord all of those apps open hyperland would still be the process that's using the most of my memory or cpu or gpu and i don't like that that feels weird sway has never acted like that so that's cool so it's also pretty fast i'm not a fan of the eye candy so sway works perfectly for me and i sort of like the philosophy of sway it's just trying to be like easy for users who are migrating from x11 with i3 it's a i3 compatible valent compositor so if i go to sway github then that's literally the description here i3 compatible valent compositor one of the greatest things the sway window manager wiki has is the i3 migration guide so as an i3 user when i used sway for the first time which was surprisingly my first valent compositor i didn't know this existed so a lot of tools like xdo2 was something that i used all of the time to get the window title in my status bar because i used i3 bar instead of poly bar or x render that's another one and fay was another one as well dunst uh, works in valent i think yeah dunst works in valent right and i already have marco running marco is a notification daemon this right here so uh, that's this i3 migration guide i love it i just read through this and i was easy to get get started with sway so i open up the sway config as well the config is really easy and straightforward probably because i was a past i3 user but i have no idea so you've got your mod key this can be alt if you want to and you've got your rim keys and oh my god i twist default config i think it's using j k l semicolon i have no idea why it does that but sway does it normally so this is just the default config file and then modified my me because i don't want to rewrite the entire thing from scratch you know so i've got my file manager nemo again i should probably change the gtk theme and all that for now i can just do uh, papyrus folders dash c and then do a blue here type in my password i don't know why it needs sudo for that but whatever and we can change it to blue now if i open it up it should be blue now so that's pretty cool and we've got our browser flop which is a new web browser that i'm checking out it's pretty cool not gonna lie it's got stuff like vertical depths i don't care sidebar pretty cool it's nice and i'm using web code as well for the discord plugin. i know a lot of you guys are obsessed with discord and all that but i just use web code because it's fast it's nice and that's pretty much it for my sway here and i've obviously got the gaps they're useless but they're nice to have this also this minor sway issue where if you try to like change this to normal 
so this is basically the normal title bus you can see it doesn't apply so if you go to an empty workspace open it up it does actually apply it just doesn't apply on any of your active workspaces so i recommend uh, rebooting or logging out and logging in if you want to use you know if you want to change these border settings basically but that's the only issue i have with sway everything else works fine so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed give the video a like if you want to and subscribe maybe i don't care and bye bye